judgment must begin in the house of God. I'm going to stir. I'm going to dig about it. Woo! I feel like I'm preaching to some young people today that you're on the verge of being cut off. But the Lord, the great intercessor, said, don't mark them off yet. I know they're just taking up space. I know they're just warming a pew. But give me another year. I'm going to dig around them. I'm going to stir them up. I'm going to shake their world. I'm going to stir their world. I'm going to turn it upside down. That's what you do when you dig. You turn the ground upside down. And that's what the Lord's going to do for somebody. He's going to dig around you. He's going to stir the ground. They've been in that comfort zone where they come into Sunday school and they haven't studied an ounce about the lesson. Come on, y'all are looking at me. And I'm looking right back at you. Hey, will you come to sing in the choir and you ain't prayed an ounce for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You're just in that comfort zone. Everything's going fine. But there ain't no fruit. There's young people that have never won a soul. They don't never witness. They try to blend in at work. They go to college and they're scared to death that somebody's going to ask them where they go to church. Come on, y'all going to help me. But God's going to stir up your ground. He's going to stir around. He's going to go to digging. You know why he's going to break up your comfort zone? It's because he wants fruit. He didn't plant you in this church to be a good smiling face. Even though we love your smiling face. You're going, is this all right? He didn't place you in that class, in that Sunday school class as the teacher. Amen for just for everybody to pat you on the back. He planted you in the vineyard uh, so you could bear fruit. Uh, he wanted some figs. Uh, he wanted something uh, that would bring glory to his name. He didn't just say he's going to dig around it, though. He also said he's going to fertilize it. Woo! He's going to send the move of the Holy Ghost by your way. You may have not felt him for a long time. Oh, now I got to, I want to be careful right here because I know, you know, possibly I'm not talking to everybody, but I could be. I don't know. I just, I just obey the Lord. Is that all right? But you may have not felt that Holy Ghost power in your heart to the point where you went home and prayed after church. I'm talking about a move of God more than just, amen, shake you and shout you, which is what I love, but something that'll change you when you get home, where you'll throw those CDs away when you get home, where you'll delete those ringtones when you get home, where you'll delete those friends Amen on your social account when you get home. Say, I'm not your friend no more. Just go ahead and forget my number, forget my email address. Amen, he fertilized me. Amen, the Holy Ghost touched me. Amen, I'm gonna bear fruit.
I want to be very clear with what the Lord is dealing with me about. You better preach it. There is some young people that shout and still go listen to the bad music. <laughs> Leaves, but no fruit. Oh, help me, Lord. You're still getting on Facebook. Hey, man, you're married, and you're talking to somebody that could ruin your marriage. I'll tell you what, you may shout around here, but it's leaves only. I want some fruit. God wants some fruit, and he's going to send what it takes to stir you up. If it bear fruit, well. If it bear fruit, well. One more year. Hallelujah, one more year. I'm gonna stir them up. Woo. I feel so good in my soul. There's no way I could put it in words. But are you well or not well? Are you bearing fruit or not? Fertilize it. He said, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing. 